Bring it, y'all. All right, I'm going to show you guys something you can do with your TV tuner that you bought for your Mac. Um, if you go over to ITV, which is most likely what you'll be using when you um, get a TV tuner. I haven't actually seen any other products that use anything else but ITV. Um, so uh, there's a high chance you're going to use ITV. Um, so here I am in ITV. I've got my recorded TV shows. Um, I'm going to show you two things I didn't find out for a while. One is, well, both of them are in the right-click menu, which, you know, on a Mac, you don't normally right-click a lot. Um, they're not up here in any of the menus or um, in here in the menu bar, or the application menu bar with the info, play, toast, so on. So, it's kind of hard to come by, kind of. Um, so, I'm just going to show you how to do it. Uh, here's a TV show right here that I have recorded. Um, first thing I'm going to show you how to, is how to edit it. And editing ex takes clips out of it. Um, as you can see, I already have a clip here, and I'll show you that in a second. But anyway, it takes clips out, and I use that for taking out the commercials. Um, so if I go right here, we can see that TV show has started a little bit late. And, but that's okay. <clears throat> um, it's probably because I was recording something before it. Anyway, so it goes through the TV show, and then it gets to a commercial right here. As you can see, next frame a commercial for right there. So I'm going to leave this marker here. Oh, well, first I'll show you how to make a marker. Well, actually, you know what? I'm just going to go do a brand new commercial. Um, so we're skipping along. Ah, uh -huh, here's a commercial. There's Mr. Homer. Let's make this window bigger. And go over, over, over. So we, we're just clicking the frames and making it go faster. Um, Right here is where, oh wait, hey, oops, right there is where Mr. Homer disappears and it goes to the commercial. So we click this button down here and it'll make a marker. So both markers, there's two little triangles. Hmm. There's two little triangles right here. We're going to drag the second one to the end of the commercial. First one stays where it was. And oop, right here. So here's where, I think, yeah, here's where it starts up again. And now when I want, when I have done all the commercials, not just this particular one or that one, I, there's probably, there's normally about three or four commercials, or sets of commercials. Um, I go over here at the compact. That'll take all these marked areas out of the actual film, and um, I won't have to deal with them anymore. So... I'm not actually done taking out the commercial, so I'm just going to close the window. It'll save where I put the markers, by the way. And the last other thing I'm going to show you is export. Now, we do have some export buttons over here, but those only do um, low-quality iPod or uh, backing up to Toast. Apple TV is a new one, but anyway. Um, if we export here, we have a lot more options. And... See, we've, we've got all these different options, some presets up here, some just the plain old M MPEG, no re-encoding, as you can see there, um, and then QuickTime formats, or things that'll play in QuickTime. Um, most of them aren't actually QuickTime formats, but anyway. Um, I like to use M MP4, and then after I've done that, I can delete what I've recorded inside of um, ITV. That saves a whole lot of space, because um, if I was over here and I wanted normally... A TV show should be about 200 megabytes, but when it's recorded he, over here on ITV, it's about a gigabyte. It's um, recording, or it has too much information. So MP4 is a good format to get it way down to about 200 megabytes is where you should shoot for. So, um, and it'll tell you down here what its estimated size will be. And there's plenty of options, and you can even get it so it'll stream and whatnot. But um, mainly, exporting to MP4 will be good, and then deleting it here, and then importing it to iTunes. Um, and what's nice is that the metadata will stay the same, so that when you import it to iTunes, it will uh, be under the little TV show selection in iTunes. So it'll be as if you bought it from I the iTunes store, but you didn't, you just recorded it. But then it'll be there whenever you're ready, you can use it in front row that way. 
so you can use it with your media center. Um, yeah, so um, that's the two things I wanted to show you in ITV. Thank you for watching.